Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking. That means a lot you guys keep clicking your face. We can all keep making. And today we're talking about the final seven power rankings. It's getting down to the, I mean, it's really getting close to finale. I mean, we have two more episodes and then it's finale. Huh? Um, and it feels like this, this season kind of just started yesterday, right? Because with I, I remember like this season kind of has chunks, right? We, we had the, the pre-merge uh, where we, I think we were all. And really, I think you, you can include that first quote unquote, like earn the merge episode in the pre-merge section. Where we were all just so high on the season. We were all just like, yes, this is like, this is so good. And now it's just kind of shifting to the mid category. I, I, at least I think for me, um, for me, the past four episodes have kind of been disappointments. I mean, not like the worst survivor, obviously not even like the bottom 10 survivor, but definitely in like the, the 20 to 35 range, which is just like, eh. You know, I, I, I prefer like I would much rather prefer to have like a bunch of like horrible seasons and then one Kagi on than a bunch of mid seasons. And I feel like that that's what we've gotten is like three mid seasons in a, in a row. Now, I have a question. Scott. Do you feel like well, cool? Obviously, um, 41 has been the worst out of this new era. I mean, it was horrible. Um, but do you feel like to this point, 42 was a better season? Because I think it no. was. I think it was. I don't think so. I think that. For, well, it's tough though because forty two's best episodes are like the last three, and the, the last three episodes are yet to come for this. Yeah, I think we can't really judge until honestly though. From from now from you know, it's forty two is just still like more politics stuff like that. You know, whatever true, you know, the rate uh, race stuff, whatever. Like we haven't really seen this on the season, so that it is that's true. always better. And I think like, um, you know, we I, still have a couple episodes to really you know figure out how good this i think what it's really going to come down to is is this season going to have another shitty winner like the past two or is it actually going to have someone like actually be fun even like a sammy win at this point would at least be like like p p p p people keep like talking about a cassidy win coming up and i'm just like i see it but like really a cassidy win are you kidding me like yeah. a carla win to me would be much much more su sufficient than a cassidy win yeah. I, I mean i i just i, I couldn't imagine a world of, where that happens and it makes any sense. I can imagine a world where it happens though, because it, it happened with Erica. And if it happened with Erica, it can happen with pretty much anyone who's like not like an absolute goat. So to me, I would have really hit a Cassidy win. Other than that, anybody else winning here to me would be perfectly fine. Even a Gabler win would be fun because he's he at least made the move at the merge to show that he has the ability to get votes on, on his side. So to me, anybody else, I mean Cody, Carla, Owen, Jesse. Sammy Gabler, n none of those really like spell bad things for me. Yeah. Not a, uh, to, to me, I, I really think this season is going to end on, on, on a higher note, finale wise and winner wise. May not end on a strategical note as good as 42 did, but it's definitely going to end on a better note uh, as far as the conclusion. I can hate this reading the votes live thing. I don't know how you feel about it, but I hate that. And I also hate this weird after show where they're asking them questions while like Mike, the firefighter is like sobbing inside. Like he's dead. He's dying inside. And they're like, so you were this close to Mike. How does that feel? Like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what like, are you what? talking about? When, uh, so at, at the end of 42, when they're like um, asking Mike, like, so you were this close after they had read the, the oh the oh you're talking about like the yeah, actual episode. yeah. I you talking about like after the episodes no no no, uh, no 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 that's gonna happen again so you know and yeah, it happened every single season so I mean mm -hmm. you can't really you know well and kind of cancels each other out well with uh and then I think I mean because we, we we saw it with both seasons right where it was Xander Deshaun and Mike because Romeo just knew he was gonna lose so it really wasn't like that that big of a thing but. Uh, I think Alexander, Deshaun, and Mike, they all showed us, like, you're not going to get good, good answers out of someone who just learned that they're losing a million dollars. That's, like, so devastating. They're n they're not going to give you anything good. I don't know. To me, to me, that's just stupid. I think at this point, I would love a Cody win. I would love a Jesse win. I would understand a Carla win. Even an Owen win would, would be fun from, like, a character and an arc standpoint. Owen's been built up, and he, he, I think Owen probably has the, like one of the better arcs in in the season. I just, I wouldn't really understand a Gabler win, and I wouldn't really understand a Sammy win, and a Cassidy win would be actually like season ruining. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the uh, the, the power rankings. Where obviously, unlike some other Survivor podcasts, <clears throat> the specials <clears throat> are we go from worst to best because best is for last. Uh, at seven, I got I got Gabler. I, I feel like we both have him at seven. I feel like if you don't have him at seven, you're watching a different season. 
doesn't really seem, seem like he's going to win. He's your GOAT for this season, it seems like. Um, no one really respects this game. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I have, I have some too. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like it really isn't even like an arguable thing um, because just just because of the fact that again, like I think I think a lot of it is about personality, right? Like he's made the moves, he's been on the right side of, of the boats, he's had the initiative, and if he gets Jesse or um, you know Cody out in, in in this next vote, then he has an extra move. But it's just his personality. He's a goofball. He's a goof. He he's just goofy. That's it. That that, that no, no one respects that. So that's it. Uh, number six, I, I got Sammy. Um, I think Sammy for me has dropped a lot. He's just been getting like not negative content, but he's gotten no positive content in the past four episodes since the Ellie boot. To me, he's just been a passenger from most of those episodes. And now he's actually dick riding Carla to the point where it's like, I, I think it's pretty obvious um, that he's not in control of the game anymore. He's been talking about making moves, but hasn't really done it himself. Uh. Yeah, I, I actually I didn't think you'd put him down that far because but I did too because I mean wow he yeah. just he hasn't done anything like yeah. in the past like what three four episodes right like I mean he <laughs> went from like being like the favorite like to win like the like he's winning yeah. like it was oh it's so obvious to now yeah. it's like I don't know what happened you know because I mean he was controlling the game at the merch and he could still be in control like he could still be the dude calling yep. the shots and stuff like that. But for some reason, just decides like, no, nah, I just want to, I want Carla to, you know, be my my number <laughs> one, and I'll just do anything. She's like, I don't really, get, I don't yeah. get it. Like, it's, well, it's, it's, so it's confusing. small things. So it's small things. Like for example, when there's a crossroad, it, it seems like an insignificant vote. Do you get out Janine or do you get out Ryan? The answer is you get out Janine because Ryan is the more val valuable person. You know, mm -hmm. do you blindside Dwight in, in that spot? I don't I, I don't think those were good choices for his game. Those are rounds where he could have made a move, kept sheep in, in the game or votes mm -hmm. in the game. And instead, he decided to go with the group and it's serving him bad right now. He has I no friends, zero friends. Yep. I, I mean, I agree. Yeah. And I, I think like the one good thing, he got rid of James, which I thought was good. And I know Carla didn't technically want to do that. So at least mm -hmm. like he did something there. Um, but it's just like, you know, I I, I don't know, man. His, his game's just falling apart. I think he can still salvage it. I don't think it's completely over. I think he can yeah. still do something about it. But it's like at this point, like, I don't know if he will because well, like he hasn't done anything so far. You here's know? the thing. Like, I think I think if it's a him, Cassidy, Gable, Tribal Council, he probably wins at the end. Yeah. Um, other than that, I cannot see. It. Oh, you know what? Maybe Owen. Maybe Owen. I think he, that, that I think, was that was close though. That was close. It, it's close. They probably could split votes, uh, and maybe the third person can well, well, like walk away there because they're they're so similar. Um, but I think if he's at the end with if Jesse's there, if Carl's there, if Cody's there, he's screwed. He's absolutely screwed. Yeah, screwed. Um, yeah, and screwed. it's just hard to imagine like Jesse. Carla and Cody not being here in three rounds. I, I could imagine two of them being gone, but for all three to go, one, two, three, and then like the at final four, Sammy doesn't go. To me, that's just so unlikely that I, I just can't see it happening. And I don't I don't get why he thinks that he needs to keep Carla. I don't get why he doesn't see Carla as a threat. I don't know why. <laughs> like I think it's really obvious that she's probably a bigger play in the game maybe he wants to like get rid of her near the end so it's like oh big move but like it seems like he wants to take her to the end which i think is asinine for his game yeah to me that's that, that's the worst thing he can do he needs to, to to take gabler he really needed to 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 use gabler that's his goat you like people who win have goats gabler was his goat and he needs to just get through the game with gabler and go against someone who, whose name is not cody whose name is not carla and whose name is not jesse I mean, even Cody, he, he may have a chance if, if, if the jury's su like super game body, but he's not going to beat Jesse or Carla to me. So I yeah. feel like his best shot here is just to drag Gabler to the game, keep Gabler loyal to him. And instead, right now, he's isolating Gabler and Owen and losing his allies. He could be in a fantastic spot here. Like if you had told us at, like at, at, after that Ellie blindside that him, Gabler and Owen would still be in the game at seven, we, we would say, oh, my God. That's literally perfect for him. And yet right now, him and Gabriel are at the bottom because they're not working together. They're working separately. Uh, That's the worst thing for their game. 
Yeah, him, Gabler, and Owen could have been like a power trio. And right. for like it, he doesn't even really ever give an explanation as to why. Like he yep. just turns on them for Carla, right? It just kind of happens. Right? It doesn't right. like he's, he's he's just he's tossed them out, uh, and he's made bad decisions that have isolated them. And he hasn't done good with Owen. He hasn't really kept Gabler in as well as Owen. To me, it's just like he's isolated the people that he he shouldn't isolate, and he's <laughs> aligning with the people that he should be blindsiding. It's like he's doing the exact opposite of what he should be doing. And yet he's preaching about big moves and I'm making a big move. You know, it's funny. Someone actually kind of pointed out to me in my comment section where like I I put up a poll that said, will a teenager ever win Survivor? And and they like said they they need to make moves, not like Will and Sammy, who always talk about making a move, but never actually made moves. You know, Will from uh, 33 and then Sammy from this season. To me, it's just like you you can talk about it, but if you just talk about it and never do it, you're going to go home eventually. And to me, that's that's probably what's, what's I mean, going to like, happen. Like he didn't make moves at some point in the game. He, no, he know, did. He did. He did. Just like Will. But now flipped. he doesn't. Well, Will. They were good Will, moves too. Will, but now Will flips. He just hasn't. Will flips on, on on his alliance in the millennials. Will Will flips in the pre merge. I if I remember correctly, it's just like it's never a big enough flip, and it's never a smart flip. It's always just making a big move to make make a big move. Yeah. And I think Sammy has probably played a better game than Will did, but it's not really by much, at least to me. He's also going up against some great players in Jesse and Carla and Cody. And, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like, he, yeah, I feel like if if it's tough to be Owen at the end, you're, you're going to have a tough time. Uh, yeah. You have him at six, I'm guessing, also. Who? Uh, Sammy. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, six. Cool. I have five, Cassidy. Um, I'm keeping her high up just because she is so, like, everyone's po- po- like pointing out, I feel like, in, in the comments that she's so similar to Erica. <laughs> And it's like her edit is so similar as well. And her story is so similar. Um, the difference is I feel like Erica, while she was shown to like almost go home in the pre-merge, people who opposed her were not given those big giant edits, right? Like the people who have opposed her in, in the game to me, the Noels, the Jesse, those are the people that have gotten the most positive edits. I don't understand. Like Erica got opposed by Deshaun and Xander and Danny, and they all got like NPC edits. Deshaun especially got a pretty negative edit. Uh, Xander, eh, he didn't really oppose her, actually. It was more of Deshaun and Danny. Deshaun and Danny got almost nothing for, for edit, considering how powerful the, 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 they, they were in the game. So to see Jesse get a giant edit, Carla uh, and James even considered bl- uh, blindsiding her at the end of the, the pre-merge. That's horrible for a winner's edit where she's like paranoid and they're like, you know what, let's just blindside her. Like, I don't know, to me, she's gotten the opposite of the Erica edit, but she is so similar to Erica as far as demographic goes, being a, a female. And on top of that, having playing this like non-existent game that I'm sure she'll form into a game at Final Tribal if she's there. Yeah. Now, I'm struggling to see who she beats here. Uh, Gabler, yes. She yeah. could probably beat Sammy or Owen. But yeah. if she's, again, it, it, it's the same story as Sammy. She has to get to the end without Jesse, without Cody, without Carla. And then even then, it's still a battle against Owen and Sammy. So, ah, uh, uh, it's just tough. I don't know, man. I've ever been higher. I think she might win. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, I'm, I really wouldn't actually if she, if she does win. I'm, I really. But do you think she it, beats Jesse at the end? Uh, you know, I think it's more of a we have to see when we get there type thing. You know, that, that's if, fine. But I'm saying, do you do like? Okay, fine. The Jesse's up in the air. I think it's a lock. Like. Jesse gets to the end, he beats anybody, literally anybody, probably in an almost unanimous vote, other than maybe Carla. Speaking of Carla, I think Carla beats Cassidy. She played the same game as her, played it better. I think Um, if Cassidy's in the final tribal council, I don't think Carla's going to be there. You think she beats Carla? No, I'm saying I'm saying if Cassidy's in the oh, final oh, trouble there, council, there, I don't think there. Carla's gonna be there. I thought I thought you you uh, said beat her. I was like, oh no, my, no, no, no way. I don't think she's gonna be okay, there. Okay, yeah. okay. If, uh, if, and then I think yeah. Cody beats Cassidy as well. Yeah. So well, well it's, it's it's a bit closer, honestly, because yeah, I'm, I'm trying to look at the jury right now. So if Cassie's there, I think she probably. I don't. I don't. I don't think Mike votes for her. I doubt Mike votes for her. Mike, um, Jesse, Noel, they're all not not voting for her. A yeah, lot. but I do think she has James uh, and, and Carla. Sure. Okay. Yeah, James. I think she has James and Carla's vote. I think maybe Owen, Janine. I think she has Janine's vote. Okay, well. James. I could see okay, that. Okay, so James, Carla, Janine. Let's even give her like. Wait, yeah, Owen. I, I, and if Jesse's on the there, I, I mean, I, I could see that. I don't know. Jesse if Owen's on the, on the, um, if Owen's this is on her the against jury. Cody, right? Uh, I'm, well, I'm trying to see who'd be the other. Let's just say Mike's there. Let's just say Mike's in the. It's it's Mike Owen, uh, Cassidy, right? Is that what we're going with right now? Um. Well, we agree that she can't 
beat Jesse or Carla. So then that, that leaves yeah. Cody, yeah. Sammy, Gabler, and Owen. I would say Gabler's Gabler. probably going to be there. So then it's, it's going to be her, Gabler, and is it going to be Sammy, Cody, oh, or Owen? So I'm trying, uh, let's say it, let's say it's Sammy's there, right? I think uh, I think I, she probably beats Sammy. So then I, I think she let's go, Cody. Sammy. Yeah, Cody. So, okay. Cody. Okay. So I think she has Janine's vote, right? I think okay, Carla, Janine, Janine James, and James, Owen. Okay. and Owen. Yeah, sure. Is that, that enough to win? I think four. she has to swing. She needs either... one more, right? So that's well. Let me how see how many people. How, let me see how many people. There's one, two, three. She four, may be five, able to get six, Dwight. Seven, maybe. Dwight. Eight. Yeah. yeah uh, right. There's eight. There's eight people in the jury, so there's actually a possibility for a tie here. Um, but I think she swings Dwight because Dwight's all feminist, right? So. Yeah, I think I, I think she swings Dwight. Okay, yeah, so, so maybe. Well, no, no. Dwight isn't on the. Dwight isn't on the jury. Oh, do I sound like wow? That that's huge. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so saying there's eight people. There's eight people in the jury. So if she has four votes. It's a tie. Then it, it, it goes. I think the up. other four are locks because like Noel and Sammy and so Jesse. Gabler, right? And it comes. No, 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 no. Gabler's at the end. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Gabler votes for Cody. So yeah. that's that's it. I, I I feel like she cannot beat Cody, Jesse, or Carla. She needs them all to go one, two, and three. And then at four, she needs to survive the fire making challenge. I'm gonna say like this. This is why this is why I have her a bit higher. The edit she got when Ryan went home, they're building up like, oh, you know, she's so cool. You know, look at her. She got rid of her biggest. Like when like Ryan getting voted out really wasn't that big of a deal. They made it like mm -hmm. a super big deal. When like it was like, oh, you voted out Ryan. It's like it. <laughs> like you're not the only person that wanted Ryan to go. You know, it's, yeah. And they yeah. made it all like her her big thing. Where it's like he's been my nemesis since day one, and he doesn't really care about her that much. And so it's like, who who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your name again? Like, yeah. Exactly. I mean, I I can see it. It's just like the the next three rounds have to go literally perfectly for her. I think we 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 both agree. She she has to play mm -hmm. them the next three rounds very hard. Like I, I like I'm still saying like I could see honestly like I I don't there's something about her edit man just like. It's just I don't know why. It, For it's, me, it's 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 the fact that like, she's playing just like the past two winners. So it's, it yeah. is it is scary. It's scary. Yeah, it's that's why um, I don't have her at um five. five. I actually have yeah. Cody at five, wow. just because. Okay. Wow. Well, so this is the thing. I think that Cody probably goes out in like the maybe like the first vote out of the finale or something around there. So five. I just I don't see how they let this dude get to the end. I mean, that is that is his spot to go. Because he's not yeah. going out at, at, at four, and he probably wins if he gets to the end. So if he goes, it's, yeah. they let him get to the end. It's one of those things where, like, you can't let the suit get to the end. He's going to you know? Yeah, but, you, so, but they have so, like, they, they, Carla and Jesse have to be first. They have to come first. They are the two biggest threats, especially Jesse. Jesse I know, has, they're has to be first. Uh, I mean, let's look at it like this. Carla's working with, um, what, Sammy, right? And right. it's like, um, who are the other lines? It's they Cody probably have, and Jesse, what, like right? Cassidy too? Okay, yeah. sure. And it's Owen, like Cody Owen's and Jesse, people. and then it's Carla and Sammy, and they have Cassidy there. Like, And then they look at who, who's left in the game. There's Owen, there's Mike. It's like, okay, it's yeah, Cody. it's probably going to be a Jesse boot next. So then, okay, so then if it's Jesse after that, then Carla's and, the next biggest boot. It's not Cody. Well, no, because they, they, they just if they're Cody. working together, I still think that they don't vote out Carla. I think they'd vote out Cody. They're... Why would they give Carla a win? Because Carla's the biggest threat. Because Sammy doesn't realize that Carla is but Sammy's only a one guaranteed person, winner. Sammy, and Cassidy Carla, probably and Cassidy. also doesn't want to get Carla out. They seem like like they're aligned, so they probably got Cody. Do you think I Cody's going like to be at the wouldn't... end? Do you think Cody's they... going to be in the final three? I, I, I don't know. I think, to me, them voting out Jesse and then voting out Cody right after that is pretty stupid. I don't that, think they're going to vote out dumb. Jesse first. Because, I mean, well, you, well, you think they're going to go for Cody first? Well, no. So I, I, this is what's weird. Okay, I think that Jesse has two idols he can play. Right. So it's kind of like I don't know if he goes home, and they might just put the backup votes on on uh, what's it, Cody? And you know, get bounced. That's, you know, this th okay. This is is kind of like about to be a good episode. I'm not gonna lie, because because yeah, okay. So then this this vote here, they have Jesse has two idols. So yeah, what he could do is play it right this round on him, him or Cody, yeah. and then. The next round, he plays it right again, and then once he gets to the five, he just needs to flip like one person or win an immunity necklace. Ooh, it's it's close, it's close. I yeah. think I don't think we're we're gonna see both of them get even to the finale. I think one of them is going in the, the next two rounds. To me, um, it's just a matter of who. I think they they go for Jesse. I think the whole like going for your like your like let's weaken you and get your close alley like like that's gone it, it, it's too late like just like they 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 have to go for jesse but how I they just, do it 
is I just don't know how they get, if they get him out because we find out he's going to play his idol. Then yeah, I, just, I, I assume the yeah, they the they stuff. put their extra votes on uh, Jesse. I mean, not Jesse uh, on Cody. And yeah. then it's kind of comes down to we're like, okay, do I want to well, play can they with split my idols? votes? Because that's three, two, two. Oh, well, I I guess because it's three, two, two. Yeah, they can split their they votes. They can split them I, three, two, and the but two it'd be a tie, two. and then they just vote again, and they'd get out, Cody, right? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, so then maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, so then, I wanna, it, this next episode, this is why my power rings are like kind of weird because like uh, there's like a lot of weird stuff could happen in this next episode. Yeah, this is like and plus maybe they they, they they don't have the numbers. Somebody flips it back on 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 the Carla, maybe. Yeah. Um, that that honestly is a pretty pretty big possibility. I think Jesse and Carla are huge blindside candidates, and then like I would be shocked if Jesse, Carla, or Cody aren't aren't um out next episode. And yet I have them all in my top four, so it's like it's, I mean it's I, I mean I do want Carla and Cassie to get voted out because then agreed. I I, I, then, I, mean, I think because it means none of them win. I don't want them to win. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the most scared of Cassie just because at this point like Carla's edits way too big. Like I feel like at, at this point she, she's being built up for a blindside, um, and then. Anyone else besides Cassie is fine after that. Um, so yeah. I'm definitely the most worried for Cassie because she do- she doesn't have like a blemish necessarily on her her edit right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that my four, right? Yo, it's you there? Four. Yeah, yeah it's four. Your four. Okay, cool. Uh, Jesse, just kind of talked about him. I feel like we can kind of skip over that. I feel like I just kind of went into deep detail. Um, like because on on one hand, Jesse's playing one of the better games that I've ever, that I've seen in this new era. It's challenging Omar for one of the better games, especially after last um, episode. If Jesse can somehow manage to, to to get to the end here, I think it's probably a better game than Omar uh, because he gets to the end and Omar doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't. Omar I don't. Do again? I low-key forgot. Was... He controlled the whole post merge, did it without having a target on his back, and o- just o- to get rid of that by Marianne. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and and he 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 goes home on a split vote fail because Marianne flips. Uh, two people get voted by Marianne. That's L. crazy. But yeah, no, exactly. And Fair that's enough. that's kind of like the point that I'm making is I feel like if Jesse can get to the end, I think to me he's played a better game than Omar. The issue is there's no way. There's literally zero chance that they let him get, get to the end. They can split votes and they should split votes twice in a row until he has no more <laughs> idols left. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, mm-hmm. yep. I mean, I've just seen four just because I'm in the middle because I could yeah. see him, you know, getting to the end, but I also see him going out this very next episode. So I mean, it's I, if, if Jesse can make a pass this episode and they try to get him out, it might be time to be like, ah, you know, Jesse's the winner. But uh, I, the thing with Jesse is like his game's been so up and down, like he basically disappeared after the merge. Remember, like for those couple episodes, now he's kind of resurfaced again. So you know, I think he beats probably everyone at this point, right? Um, Maybe Carlo's a bit tougher to from the beat. I think he basically beats anyone though that he faces in the final three. But I think people know that, so it's just like, can he will his way to the end? Can he use his idols correctly? We're just going to find out. That's why I'm at four. Yeah. So yeah. Um, give me a second. Can you talk about your um your four or no? Sorry, your your three for a second. I have to go uh, go get get something. All right. My number three. Uh, my number three is let's see. My number three is actually Cassie. I don't know how she got this high. To to me, right. Cassie, she I, the reason why I have her this high is because she basically reminds me of Erica and, and to some extent Marianne, less Marianne, more Erica. Erica basically had that game where, you know, she uh, if you think about it, actually, Cassie and Erica basically have identical games. So what happened for Erica, obviously, is that she didn't really ever go to Tribal Council uh, during the pre-merge. Obviously, Cassie went once, but um, she never really went to the Tribal during the pre-merge. They both have really quiet edits. Um, I think actually Cassie probably has a more edit that's visible than Erica ever did, as of right now at least. Because Erica at least had, because uh, what's it? Car, sorry, Cassie at least had that thing where she, um, where she like got out riot and everyone was just like, oh look how badass name or whatever. And you know, there's there's all that. that that's great. Um, and Erica never really had that. But if you look at their games, very similar. Both have somewhat quiet edits both didn't go to the uh, tribal council all that much during the pre-merge yep. and both kind of always been in the right voting i think i don't know if cassie's ever voted incorrectly so far yeah they, well they, they they both haven't controlled anything but they have not necessarily been on the bottom yeah so yeah i think her and erica have similar games marianne not so much uh, as similar but i think erica yeah. very very similar very, not 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 too much similar to marianne because yeah. marianne was more just kind of like a freak show, she was on but, the bottom know, um 
Well, no, no, the difference is like uh, Erica was had had every vote right, but she was never in control. Marianne was just never in control and had every vote wrong. Sorry, opposite. She had she was in control, but had most votes wrong and then made one giant move to take out Omar. You know, yeah. so it's a very wonky game. Um, my number three, my number three, right? Yep. My number three is Owen. I think Owen to me, I've kind of already, already talked about him, but I feel like he is just a very passive player in uh, the game. So, yeah. All right. So my number th- two is Owen. Um, so, you know, there, there's that. <laughs> I th- to, to me, uh, Owen actually has a really good shot to win. I think, I think it's actually understated how, you know, much of a shot he has to win. I do think if he gets there with Sammy, he could still actually win. Uh, I think if he gets there – to travel count final travel council with almost anyone, I think he gets votes regardless. I don't think he ever gets no votes, and I think it just really uh, comes down to his like his tri- final tribal performance if he wins or not. I think he can. I think what Owen's done in the game, and if he just has a little bit more in these last this last stretch of the game, I th- and he, and he was able to tell the jury about it in a good way. I think he can win. You know, so I I think he actually has a really good shot to win. Um, so I have it too. So. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who, who was that you were just talking about? What? And my three? Yeah. Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Okay, cool. And then you have, uh, um, Owen's at two. Owen's yeah. at two. Okay, cool. Um, for my one and two, I have Cody and Carla. I have one mm-hmm. Car- Cody and then two Carla. Uh, the o- only reason I don't have Carla at first, cause I, I think she is in the best spot to win. Uh, like as far as like having the lower threat level at this point and not having built up her target is the fact that she's probably going to get blindsided. I think like most people are seeing her edit being built up and built up and built up. She doesn't have that consistent. Um, she's just being built up as way too big of a target on her back. And we all kind of see it a little bit too obvious. I feel like it would be a little bit obvious to see her win here. Uh, she seems more like a person who's robbed, like who quote unquote. Um, whereas in Cody, I feel like, like I, I could see him win. It wouldn't be very likely. I think at this point, Cassidy to me is the scariest just because like, again, she, her edit lines up perfectly with the past two winners but i think carla is just as big of a threat if she can survive these next two votes yeah i mean like i said i have owned it too and i have carla at one uh i think carla if they're all to go to if they're all to go to tribal final tribal council right now which that's not but if they did i think carla wins you know any any three person tribal council you know whatever you have i think every single one carla basically wins now i do think eventually people might recognize that and i think people I don't think she has a good shot to get blindsided, but the fact that Sammy, this pretty big character, just wants to keep her. Apparently, I don't know if he wants to keep her to the final three, but it seems like that is pretty scary, honestly. Uh, I so I don't know if, if she gets to the final three. I think she wins. I think she beats everyone, obviously, at this point, unless she has like a really bad rest of the game and everyone else plays really good. I think she wins. Yeah, I I wait. Wait, you're talking about for for Cassidy, right? Uh, Carla. Oh, Carla. Car- Carla yeah. number one. Yeah, I, I think, again, Carla has to slip up somewhere because Carla's set right now. She has Sammy under her wing, which means she probably has Gabler, too, which means that, like at that point, she just needs to get through this next vote and get out Jesse, which is pretty easy because Jesse has a huge target on his back. And at that point, after she gets out Jesse or Cody, like whichever one, she has three people on her side and Sammy, who wants to go to the amateur. Gabler probably will stay with them so that that's three people. She's good. She just can't slip up and get blindsided at six or five depending mm-hmm. on what the the, uh, the, the uh, twist is. So we'll see. It's definitely a close one, though, for sure. Um, any other comments before we close this thing out? Nope. All right, perfect. So what's going on there in the Skylander universe before we head out here? I have a video coming out tomorrow. Or oh, my God. This, no way. Is this, if this is uploaded on Sunday, it's coming out Monday. That, that's what I'm trying to say. It's being this uploaded be on Monday. In three hours. Yeah, okay. It's being uploaded on Monday. So, yeah, new video out tomorrow. Oh, my God. So, if you're watching this on the day that it's uploaded, it, it'll be out tomorrow. If you're watching this on Monday, it's probably already out. So, go, go, go check it out. Just look up, look up Skyliner Gamer TV. It's going to be there, I promise. Yeah, it's going to be Anyways, there. guys, if you want to watch this, these like Power Ranking Podcasts, my live recap shows, it's all on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, wherever you get the damn podcast. It's going to be there. Just look up Survivor Spencer. Again, none of this happens without you guys, and that's what I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.